Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marcy. If you are for, here for the first time, I thank you for clicking on that thumbnail. If you are a returning subscriber, how y'all doing? You know, thanks for coming back, enjoying what your girl has to say for today. You know, I appreciate you all. I appreciate the fragrance community and this fragrance journey has been amazing. This is like a great outlet for me, you know, something that I love to do. You know, I encourage you all to find good outlets. You know, it's good for mental health, physical health, you know, so that we can continue on in this life in peace all right <laughs> so um without further ado we're going to be getting into these fragrances i don't want to get into you know this long intro or whatever uh but we're going to get into some really wonderful tuberose fragrances some that i have come to really love you know i never liked tuberose up until a couple about a not even a couple years ago, about a year and a half ago, you know, I thought it was more of like old vintage, you know, just like a really, you know, dusty smell to tuberose fragrances. But today we have some amazing tuberose fragrances, creamy, sweet, sexy, you know, some are still a little vintage, uh, you know, but they have a little twist to them as well. Um, they come in beautiful bottles, you know, even 20 year olds wear tuberose fragrances today, you know, so the perfumeries have put an amazing spin on the beautiful white flower of tuberose. So we're going to get into those fragrances today. So please like, comment, um, and this is for the new people, subscribe, or if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, turn on those notification bells so that every time I do upload a video, you can be the first one to give me your feedback or make a comment or let me know down in the comments if you have other tuberose fragrances that you would love to share with me. There's one tuberose fragrance that I'm, ex I'm excited about um, and it's on the way. So you guys are going to get a review on that one and it's by the House of... Uh, Nishane and shout out to Priscilla for letting me know about or telling me to give this fragrance a second chance because I smelled it sampled it and I was like nah 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 but then you know she said give it another chance so Priscilla that video is going to be for you so anyway um, without further ado let's get into my top tuberose fragrances uh, in my collection so the very first one is a, a house that I absolutely love and I have about five or six of their fragrances and this is BDK. Now this right here is a very, very heavy tuberose fragrance. Um, it's amazing. It's definitely a spring summer scent. It's very beast mode. So I recommend only spraying this max four times, maybe two on your skin and two on your clothes. But I actually love this tuberose scent. It's a little, this one for me, there's a slight vintage note. This is a sweeter tuberose, which gives it a little more of a vintagey smell to me, but I still love it. So in this, the notes, you have geranium, you have rose bay willow herb, you have Indian tuberose, ylang ylang, Egyptian, Egyptian jasmine, you have incense in here, you have Madagascar vanilla, you have Singapore patchouli, and you have cypress. So this, y'all, this fragrance is really great. So if you are a tuberose lover, you're definitely going to love this. And look at the bottle. The bottles are actually so stunning. This is what attracted me to this fragrance initially was the gold bottle and this gold cap was stunning. So I'm going to go ahead and spray this. This is really, this is a really, really good tuberose fragrance, y'all. This is for all ages, definitely spring, summer. So I'll spray it in the air. Yes, if you love tuberose, this is a heavier tuberose fragrance. You're going to love this. And then it has that Madagascar vanilla really comes out and a little bit of that cypress. But yeah, I love VDK. Um, this is tuberose imperial. You know, the name is Grant Imperial. So y'all get your hands and your nose on BDK's Tuberose Imperial. As far as BDK's collection is concerned, um, so avant-garde, they usually have a sale on their BDK fragrances, most of the time up to 30% off or 30% off. So see if you can catch this on sale. This is a niche brand. Um, the bottle runs about 180, I think $200. 
um, but on the BDK site, so on the BDK site, it comes, usually it comes with a 10 ml um, sample, which is a really great deal. But if not, you can get it on soab.guard um, for about $120 when it's on sale. So, you know, keep an eye out, y'all, on that site. Or follow AI The Great or um, a couple of other influencers. They always have, you know, you can use their promo code. I think it's like 20% um, to get this fragrance on sale, y'all. But it's really good. So go ahead and get it if you love tuberose. So the next one, we're gonna have my favorite, favorite tuberose of all times. This is a sexy, feisty boss lady. You know, I'm in the room, I command everything. That's this type of tuberose scent. Uh, people say that it has like alien vibes. Um, I do agree. Um, you know, it's very classic. I absolutely love this tuberose fragrance. And this is no other than Rouge Malakite. Y'all, this is some good stuff, you know? It's a very striking rose, uh, tuberose. And it's such an amazing scent. And this is by the house of Armani Privé. And in this, you have orange blossom, you have ylang ylang, you have benzoin, you have tuberose. In the top notes, you have tuberose in the heart, and you also have tuberose in the base. So this is a tuberose bomb, y'all. If you don't have rouge malachite, um, you I was gonna say, if you have a choice between BDK and rouge malachite, if you can find it, I recommend that you get rouge malachite. This is a... Uh, winter, spring, summer, fall, like fragrance. This is an all around fragrance, daytime, nighttime, like anytime. Um, it's very heavy, so I wouldn't wear it in the office. You only need, you know, no more than four sprays, two to four sprays of this, and you're gonna smell amazing, y'all. So, you know, I, rec I do recommend this. The bottle's stunning. Let me put on the top for you all. Isn't that a beautiful bottle? You know, the clary sage in here, you know, it's orange blossom, pink pepper, you know, you really get that incense smell, tuberose, jasmine, sandbag, ylang ylang, but like it's an amazing, stunning, fra stunning fragrance and a beautiful bottle, y'all. And you can actually see the juice. It looks pretty opaque, but you can see the juice when you hold it up to the light. But I absolutely, this is my favorite tuberose fragrance in my collection. You know, um, there's a little bit of a, a sweetness about this, a spiciness about this. It's just an all around amazing fragrance. So that is Armani Privé Rouge Malakite. Next, we have one of the most striking and in your face tuberose fragrances, and you really don't need to spray a lot of this as well, but it comes in a beautiful bottle, a beautiful house. This is um, a fragrance for young, old, middle-aged, whatever, all around. Um, this fragrance is definitely good in the, I would say in the spring, summer, it's a little heavy, in the spring, um, autumn, winter, fall. And this is no other than bond number, uh, bond number nine, Chinatown. Chinatown is such an amazing fragrance. It's very heavy, it's very loud and in your face, but the dry down is creamy white florals. It has a little bit of sweetness to it. This is really good. You can smell the peach blossom um, off top, so slight fruitiness in the opening. Um, and then in the base, you get like a tuberose, a creamy tuberose fruitiness. So in uh, Chinatown, you have peach blossom, bergamot, tuberose. You also have gardenia in this one as well. You have peony, orange blossom, cardamom, vanilla, guayac wood, sandalwood, and cedar. This, y'all, is some very, very beast mode stuff. It's really good. You know, I initially smelled this. I thought it was just too powerful for me, but then I smelled it again at the store um, the second day, and I went back and I got uh, Chinatown because I love the dry down. The opening initially kind of like blew me away, but then as it started to dry down, I was like, this is really good. Um, you know, it's very soft and cream, a soft, creamy tuberose. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this. You know, I'll spray this one on my hand. The atomizer's good. Yes, you get the peach blossom. You get a little bit of spiciness too, which I think is a cardamom. But you get the peach blossom definitely and the opening and the tuberose. Yes. 
This is really good, you guys. And you you know what? This also reminds me of another fragrance that I found this year that I have come to absolutely love, but it's slightly softer, but it doesn't have tuberose. That's crazy, y'all, right? And that is True Sardi Donna. Like True Sardi Donna, to me, this is like, um, True Sardi Donna is Chinatown's little sister. This is the big sister, loud, you know, um, very obnoxious. And True Sardi Donna is the little sister, you know, soft, prissy, but she's still bringing it. So um, to me, if you don't like Chinatown and the tuberose in here, to me, it's similar to True Sardi. I actually thought True Sardi had tuberose inside because they smell so similar, but maybe it's the yuzu um, and the African orange flower and the creamy notes that makes it smell like uh, Bond Number no. 9 Chinatown as well. And you can get it at a fraction of a price. I think True Sardi Donna is only about uh, $50. So anyway, if you like this, I definitely think you need to try uh, Donna uh, True Sardi in the white and gold bottle. But yeah, this is very good in the dry down. Love it. Next is my second favorite tuberose fragrance. This adds a little bit of a spin, like a soft, creamy orange blossom, sweet, kind of like a um, marshmallowy or lactonic scent. I absolutely love this fragrance. I've gotten so many compliments when I wear this and I'm looking for another one of these and this is um, Givenchy and this is Lenterdi, y'all. Lenterdi smells so good. So I love Rouge Maliki and the second best tuberose fragrance is Givenchy and this is the this is the intense. So Lenterdi Givenchy intense and this is the EDP, y'all. This is good. This is spicy. I'm going to go ahead and spray this, y'all. So um, I'll give you the notes. It's black pepper. It's tuberose. The sesame, you can really smell it in here. You know, I love a good, you know, um, uh, Asian style meal with some sesame seeds or sesame oil. Like, I love that smell and I love the taste as well. So um, you have orange, Mad or you have orange blossom, Madagascar vanilla, patchouli, and vetiver. Um, I'm going to go ahead and spray this. I'm going to wear this today, okay? So let's go ahead and spray this as my scent of the day. This is some amazing stuff. You have to get this. This is designer. I think this is, um, you can find this for about maybe less than $100, especially on Fragrance Net. But this is good, y'all. Look at that automizer. Very, very good. This is, oh, this is, oh, you can, it almost gives you... Um, Killian um, love vibes with a little bit of tuberose on top, but this is really good. I am looking to get a backup bottle of this. That's how much I love this fragrance. You know, you already you already know what time it is. Heavy, go heavy. <laughs> um, the bottle is beautiful. You know. And um, I just, I absolutely love this. Oh, not that hand, this hand. This is good. It's not a really in your face fragrance. It lasts for about eight hours. On the clothes, it might last even longer, but on my skin, it's very soft, lactonic, creamy, sweet. Like I said, it gives you a little bit of um, Love Don't Be Shy by Killian vibes because of the sweetness and the powderiness or the, there's no marshmallow inside, but it smells like there's a little bit of like lactonic sweet or condensed milk or marshmallow um, scent in here on top of the tuberose, orange blossom and sesame, y'all. Good stuff. So if you can, get your hands on this. Lenter D, Givenchy, uh, Intense EDP. So going down the line, we have one of my other favorites. Um, and this is Rosia. It's not a heavy tuberose, but it is a really um, very great scent with tuberose inside. Um, and I think the tuberose in Rosia is in the mid, so it's not a top note of tuberose. So this is Raja 51. This is Pore Femme Essence de Parfum. Um, and in here you have bergamot, raspberry, orange blossom, may rose. You have tuberose, jasmine, ylang ylang. You have anise, vanilla, cinnamon, and cloves. So in this fragrance, I do get a little bit of the tuberose. I don't want to spray this because it cost me like way too much and I already have my scent for the day on. 
Um, you do get a little bit of the tuberos, but you also get like I was said once before in my review that this gives me that a lifesaver, that cream raspberry lifesaver vibes, the sweetness with the white florals, a little bit of spiciness from the cinnamon and the cloves. This is my favorite one by the Essence line. Um, I also love Creation E, but I don't have that one. And I do have Elixir that I love as well, but I do want, it's on my wish list, Creation E, and that's a def and another good white floral. But this, I love it because it smells like a creamy raspberry white floral tuberose scent. And the bottle is stunning and you are uh, a little messy. Sorry, my hand prints. But yes, the bottle is beautiful. You already know. The House of Roja Dove, y'all. Next we have, um, we. I was, I was about to, I'll, I'll wait. That one's for the end because it's, um, I've had it for a while and it's one of my favorites too. Um, and it just brings back so many memories. So next we're gonna go with um, So Little Block by Tom Ford and this is the EDP. So in this, you have pistachio, bergamot, cardamom, you have pink pepper. Um, I didn't include this one in my video yesterday that I posted because there's so many fragrances with pink pepper in there. Y'all, it's probably like half of my collection or maybe those are the notes or scents that I am drawn to, um, uh, which is pink pepper and I absolutely love. So either one, uh, you know, there's a lot of pink pepper in a lot of fragrances. Um, you have pink pepper, tuberose, coconut, tonka bean, and jasmine. Now in this fragrance, um, off top you do get a tuberose note, you know, but you get a lot of coconut, coconut and white florals. This is a very tropical, creamy, lactonic scent. You know, I do love this. This is definitely a spring, summer, uh, beachy, vacation vibes, but I really, really like this fragrance. I only have two Tom Ford fragrances that I can tolerate. You know, everything else is a bit heavy for me. So this is one of them, um, So Lil Blanc, and I love also, I think it's Neroli Portofino in the turquoise bottle. So those are the only two Tom Ford fragrances that I have. And I've tried them multiple times and I just can't get used to that smell. Um, you know, I had an ex a while back that he used to wear Tom Ford. I think it's more masculine for me. It reminds me so much of men. I absolutely love, love, love. It's my favorite fa fragrance on a man. It's Tom Ford and Issey Miyake's uh, fragrances. Like hands down, my two favorite. Um, but for me, I'll stick with the, the lightweight Tom Fords, y'all. All right, so this is So Leo Blanc, uh, and this is Tom Ford. Definitely a great fragrance. Someone mentioned um, they had purchased one, and they said there's an EDT. I would really love to know what the EDT smells like, um, if it's a little lighter and not as creamy. But yeah, that's that. Next, <clears throat> excuse me. We have one of my classics. I This is my second bottle, and I've been wearing this stuff since I was in my early 30s or late, I think it was my early 30s, a long time ago, y'all, such a long time ago. Uh, so this is Issey Miyake Absolute. It's missing the little gold ball at the top. I think it might, it fell off somewhere, but I, I love Issey Miyake. I was introduced to Issey Miyake at the age of 19. So my very first designer fragrances, um, as like a young adult, you know, in my 20s, I think I had like three or four Issey Miyake's and that's all I wore. So Issey Miyake has to be in my collection. So I do love this stuff. Um, very simple notes. It's lotus in here. There's freesia, there's honey, there's tuberose, there's night blooming cerise, and there's bourbon vanilla. Y'all, this is real. This is some good stuff, okay? And like I said, it's one of my favorite, favorite Issey Miyake's. Um, let me know down in the comments if you have a favorite Issey Miyake. I know I wanted to buy another one. I think it was like a Nectar Issey Miyake that I was interested in. And I still might get that one just because, you know, Issey Miyake, that's who I am. You know, you know, I, I wore it when I was young and it's a bit nostalgic for me. So I'm going to go ahead and spray this, but I got to use this before it gets too old. I bought this one over in, I was on a trip over in Thailand 
and we had a layover. So I bought this in one of the fragrance stores, one of the duty-free fragrance stores when I was over in Thailand. I try to buy perfume everywhere I go, mainly ones that are specific to that continent or that country, you know, but if I can't, then I'll just, you know, maybe um, grab me one like going through the airport that I don't have that has been on my wish list. So let's go ahead and spray this. Yes, y'all. So isn't the juice stunning? The juice, it actually smells like honey and freesia. I get the freesia, the honey. This is so fresh. You know, the white florals in here are so fresh and you get a little bit of sweetness from the honey. But I definitely get that, um, that honey note, you know? Um, you know, the sweetness from, I guess, the bourbon vanilla but I really get the freesia and the tuberose. I love the note of freesia in fragrances. You know, it really adds a freshness um, to a lot of the fragrances. I only have about maybe four or five um, uh, perfumes or fragrances with a note of freesia inside, and I absolutely love them. I'm gonna spray this one more time because it's bringing back so many memories. Yes, this is some good stuff, y'all. So if you don't know, this is Issey Miyake, and this is Issey Miyake Absolute EDP. Get your nose on this. If Even if it's still around, I don't even know if they still have this around or if it's been discontinued. You know, Issey Miyake discontinued their fragrances fast, and they come out with a lot of flankers, but I absolutely love this stuff. All right, so that concludes my, you know, my review on tuberose fragrances. I have a lot of other fragrances with tuberose inside, but I didn't want to overwhelm you all. So I just decided to pick the ones that I absolutely love. You know, I'm also going to do a review on maybe some gardenia fragrances as well. You know, I was never like a gardenia girl, but I've come to love gardenia, especially when Narciso Rodriguez does it. Y'all, he's amazing. So anyway, you all have have an amazing day, you know, go out and spread amazing siash, be blessed, enjoy one another, live your life to the fullest, you know, and go out and just spread a lot of love, you know. All right, love you all. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.